friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is angular top 180 interview question answer series with detailed code snippets i'm confident and 100 percent sure that if you go through this 180 questions you can crack any interview on angular before we get started if you want to grab this 180 questions along with other 30 technologies total over 2200 question answer series with code snippets the entire pdf copies are available at rtutorials.gumroad.com check for full stack interview questions these are all the technologies that you will get detailed question answers with code snippets it's a must for everyone to have it's a one time lifetime buy make sure you get your copy at rtutorials.gumroad.com if you have any questions, write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. All right, let's start with some of the basic questions first, and then we'll go into the detailed code snippets. The first and the foremost obvious question that is asked is, what is Angular? Angular is a platform and framework for building client-side applications using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript or TypeScript. It allows you to build mobile-first applications, which are develop, helping in developing scalable and maintainable web applications. It includes everything that you need to build applications, including components, routers, directives, pipes, modules, services, and much more. <coughs> what is TypeScript in Angular? TypeScript, in general, is a superset of JavaScript that adds static typing, interfaces, and other features. Angular is built using TypeScript, which provides better tooling and better code quality through interfaces, defining uh, classes, objects, and much more. <coughs> what are components in Angular? <coughs> components are the building blocks of any Angular application. A component is a TypeScript class with an associated HTML template, CSS styles, and logic to control the view. Components can be standalone or can be a regular normal component. This is how you define the component directive. It will have a selector, a template URL, and style URLs, followed by in the class, we write the logic that component covers. What is a module in Angular? A module in Angular is a container for components, directive, services, and pipes. It organizes an Angular application into cohesive blocks of functionality. The way you will explain is, you can give some examples of modules like users module, payment module, tax module, etc. You define it using at the rate ng module. It will have all the things that it needs like components, which goes into declarations, imports, which is where you import the other modules or the dependency modules. You have the providers, and finally, you tell which one to bootstrap with. What is two-way data binding in Angular? Two-way data binding allows data to flow in both directions, that is from model to the view, and it is achieved using the banana syntax of writing square bracket, then function bracket, and ng model. This is how you write the two-way data binding in Angular. What is the difference between ng on init and constructor in Angular? A constructor is used for dependency injection. ng on init is a lifecycle hook that runs after the component's inputs are initialized. Now, the main difference, remember that constructor is used for the dependency injection. That means bringing in the services that your component needs, which you don't do it in ng on init usually. <coughs> Talking about which, what is dependency injection? Dependency injection is a design pattern in Angular that allows services and other dependencies to be injected into component services or other classes. A service is written with a directive at the rate injectable, and then you define the class, and then you have the constructor and the methods that this service will include. This is how any generic service would look like. What are directives in Angular? Directives are classes in Angular that allows us to manipulate the DOM or change the behavior of an element. Namely, there are three types of directives. 
component directives, structural directives and attribute directives. Now a directive is written using at the rate directive and then you give the name of the directive that is the selector name. Then you write the class of the directive and you write the respective code or the additional logic that you go. <coughs> this is an example of a custom attribute directive. A regular component is also a directive. Structural directive allows us to change the structure of the DOM, which means that it will have for loop, while loop, etc., which changes the or if else switch cases. These are all examples of structural directives. What is a pipe in Angular? A pipe in is a function in Angular that takes an input and transforms it into a desired output format. Examples, there are a lot of built-in exam built-in pipes that can be used. There are custom that you can also use. We can also create our own pipes using custom pipes. <coughs> Some of the examples that you can provide for uh, pipes could be date pipe, currency pipe, and JSON pipe, lowercase, uppercase, and much more. What is Angular CLI? Angular CLI is a tool that helps us to create, develop, and maintain Angular applications and which provides scaffolding of components, routing, services, pipes, modules, and much more. Which means using Angular CLI, we can jumpstart, scaffold a lot of things and get things done faster instead of you just typing them. What are lifecycle hooks in Angular? Lifecycle hooks are methods that allows us to tap into a lifecycle of a component right from its init or during the course of it, like say ng on changes, after view init, ng on init. These are all different lifecycle hooks that allows us to take control of a component during the lifecycle mode. What is ng on changes? Now, this is an interesting thing because we use it quite heavily, especially when you're working with dynamic data or functionality that keeps changing. ng on changes is a life lifecycle hook that is triggered when an input property of a component or directive changes. Example, when you say ng on changes, it gets the uh, attribute which is changes and through simple changes, we will capture those input data that has got modified. What is routing in Angular? Routing in Angular is the mechanism through which, which you allow users to navigate between different views or components within an application. For this, the router module is used. Now, if you talk about um, the latest versions of Angular, you will see you may not want to use app router module at root level, but in the subsequent modules, you may still want to use router module. <coughs> An example is you define the routes and then you import them for the routes. That's what it means that you're telling your application that it needs to connect with these paths whenever you have to navigate. What are observables in Angular? Observables are a key part of Angular's reactive programming model. They represent asynchronous streams of data, which you can subscribe to, and they provide methods like map, filter, catch error, etc. A lot of methods are there. Basically, it's a RxJS, right? So, observable is nothing but you keep listening. Whenever data changes or new data comes in, it gets automatically updated. Angular uses observables heavily. So, it's natural that you should be having good knowledge on observables, how it's read, how it's consumed. <coughs> what is HTTP client in Angular? HTTP client is a service in Angular which is used to make HTTP requests to interact with the backend APIs. Again, this module is built in into Angular and unlike React, you don't have to use any other third party uh, framework or library. The HTTP client provides methods like get, post, put, delete through which you can make the respective API calls based on your REST uh, requirement. 
what are angular services we talked about it earlier but i'll keep digging these into detailed into into much more use cases that's the important thing services in angular are classes that handle logic for things like data fetching business logic or shared functionality across multiple components they are injected into components or other services using angular's dependency injection and when we say dependency injection we import that service into the constructor and then use those methods using that constructor instance what is ng4 in angular ng4 is a structural directive in angular that allows us to loop over a array and display elements dynamically in the template this is one of the example of ng4 how you will loop so think of it like any other looping uh, a uh, thing that you have used in any programming language so ng4 is in angular we talked about it what is the difference between ng on init and constructor let's recap it again constructor the main difference is that it is used for dependency injection which you do not do it in ng on init a lot of times people get confused that whatever we can do in constructor can be done in ng on init but constructors are used for dependency injection that's the main highlight what is the purpose of at the rate input in angular at the rate input is a decorator used to pass data from a parent component to a child component the parent binds a value to the child's components input property so remember whenever you see a decorator which starts with at the rate component in this case you provide a selector and template and at the rate input is also a decorator okay whichever starts with at the rate think of it that it's a decorator same way what is the purpose of output in angular output is used to pass data from a child component to a parent component it allows the child to emit events that the parent can listen to so basically when we use input we use it to send data from parent to child and from child if you want to send the event or the data will use at the rate output in the new versions of angular we'll also talk and cover about signals as we move in this series thank you so much for joining in this episode i'll continue this 180 questions as part of this particular series and also i will cover all the 2200 interview question answer series here on my channel Again I'll request you to kindly support me by getting your copy at arctutorials.gumroad.com you will get all these 30 plus technologies and their detailed interview question answer series with code snippets you can get them at arctutorials.gumroad.com thank you so much for joining in this episode please join me in the next episode we'll continue our learning thank you so much see you in the next episode